This guy has been inspected and approved by Luminous. Hey guys, this is Sunspan and welcome to the official Dota Cinema Guide to Sand King. If you aren't familiar with this hero, you may want to watch the introduction we did for him at the corresponding link. Sand King is a strength initiation hero that is heavily relied upon for his teamfight capabilities. He can be played effectively in a dual lane, a tri lane, a solo lane, and no lane, meaning he can be very helpful as a roamer. Skill build. The typical skill build for Sand King would be to max your burrow strike first, while typically focusing on Sandstorm second. Getting your epicenter ultimate at 6, 11, and 16 is also standard. After that, if you feel you need a little bit more survivability, then going for stats over caustic finality is definitely viable, while the opposite is true if you need more farm for that elusive blink dagger. Now if you're soloing a lane versus a melee hero, then substituting your skilling of sandstorm in replacement for caustic finale is going to be needed, as controlling the lane becomes a cinch. The harassment that comes from caustic finality in the early to mid stages can force the enemy back, therefore allowing you to farm at will. Caustic Finale is also excellent throughout the game for pushing the lanes, so keep that in mind if you're down a barracks. Item build. In the beginning stages of a game, be sure to either get wards or a courier if no one on your team has done so yet. Aside from that, get your basic regeneration so you can stay in lane with little issue. And one side note, if you're planning to play a roaming Sand King, then picking up a bottle in the early stages may be necessary for regeneration purposes. For boots, you have the choice of getting arcane boots or just sticking with regular boots until your initiation items picked up. This is all dependent on both how well you're farming, as well as if multiple arcane boots have already been picked up by your own team. Throughout the entire game, both teams know exactly what items Sand King must pick up. This item, of course, is a blink dagger. And the faster you can pick it up, the better your initiations will become. Despite this, depending on the opposing lineup, a blink dagger may not be the best idea. If you feel this is the case, then a BKB would be a solid choice to allow you to channel your epicenter. Although a blink is the only thing a Sand King player quote unquote needs, if you happen to be getting terrific farm and the ward situation is under control, then certain luxury items could be picked up. Agnum Scepter is an excellent pickup on Sand King and it not only provides an excellent buff to your ultimate, but will also give you much needed stats in order to survive your initiations. A BKB, like we talked about, also can be picked up, which in essence will allow you to blink stun and then cast your ultimate as the enemies wait for death to ensue. Additionally, Shiva's or even Veil of Discord could add quite a bit of punch to your initiations, while Scythe of Vice is also great on just about anyone. Gameplay. In the laning stages, whether you're roaming or not, once you burrow strike an enemy, try to block them as they run away. This will allow your teammates to continue to auto attack freely. Sometimes farm can be hard to come by in the early stages for a Sand King player, so if you're playing the support role, try switching between the lane and pull spots in order to maximize your farm. And before you're able to actually get your blink dagger, using your ultimate after a stun is a definite possibility, but you have to be aware of what spells or items the opposing team has that could cancel your epicenter. Keep track of what has been used as you're getting ready to pop it, because if cancelled, that is a lot of mana and cooldown time wasted. Just remember that Sand King has a ton of survivability built in with his Burrow Strike and Sandstorm, which can make him extremely tough to kill, much like a Puck. Also note that both skills can be used to dodge most incoming projectiles. For teamfights without a Blink Dagger, try to go in and out as much as possible with your Burrow Strike Sandstorm combination. You have a lot of escapability, so try to take advantage of that. If you don't feel you can get a solid ultimate off, then be as helpful as possible with your Burrow Strikes. And if you're only able to get a few people on the outer edges of an epicenter, that's okay. The slow coming from the ultimate is really underrated. Now, team fights with a blink dagger are a completely different story. If you're able to wind up a good ultimate as your first initiation, then do so by all means. On the other hand, a lot of professionals love to let fights start on their own accord and will then bide their time as they set up a truly perfect epicenter. Much like an Earthshaker initiation, allowing the opposing team to clump up will make it that much more effective. Remember to cast your ultimate, then hold shift while blinking to the location. And then after this combination goes off successfully, burrow strike to catch as many enemies as possible. Friends and foes. Heroes that love laning with the Sand King would be those that have a follow-up stun or nuke that will accentuate your burrow strike initiation. Some heroes that fit this classification would include Marana with her ungodly arrow, as well as both Rasta and Lion with their respective CC and nuke capabilities. Heroes that counter our Scorpion friend would include those that have large AoE stuns and global ultimates. 
basically anyone that can disrupt Sand King's epicenter. A short list of examples would include Warlock with his amazing ultimate initiation, Tidehunter with his very large Ravage radius, Spectre with his global ultimate, as well as Pugna's Nether Ward, which has an extremely large AoE. Thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. Also, a special shout out goes to Flawless and Luminous for their help in writing this guide. You can check them out at their respective YouTube channels, which are linked in the video description. And finally, be sure to check out our new website at DotaCinema.com, where you can find a ton of Dota 2 videos along with our live streaming page, which includes me playing with you guys on a nightly basis. My name is SunsFan, and until next time.